So, the topic of the day is shoelace tying. And because black may not be easy to see for directions, we're going to use one of my new bracelet patterns right here. And it's a rapid deployment piece, so we can just, come on, tug on it. There we go, that's enough. Cut. So the knot that we're teaching today is called an Ian knot. And it is the fastest way to tie a shoelace that I've ever seen. Now your regular shoelace knot is based on a square knot, which looks like that, okay? Although the more common of the two is the granny knot. You see how it changes over there. This does not look quite as neat as the square knot. If you're tying your shoes and they look in the end like that, you are doing it wrong. Okay, so we're trying to also teach a way to make sure that it, the knot itself is a little bit more robust. For the Ian knot, you start as normal with what essentially amounts to a half hitch. Oh, we're going to be teaching terms as we go along with this, by the way. This is essentially a half hitch. Going around something once. You could also call that a turn around each other, doesn't really matter. Okay, so now you have to look at what direction this is tied in. You notice that on this diagram, the right side is coming towards me. Okay, now this will be the same no matter how the shoe itself is flipped. You see, if you were to rotate that, it would be the same way. So this would be this person's right side coming towards you. Okay, you want to make sure that the side that comes towards you stays going towards you as it goes around your fingers. Now something that I also find helpful is that I use these two fingers here to hold the laces so that they don't get out of hand. <laughs> okay, so that goes towards you, around, and into your hand. This goes away, around, and into your hand. Like that. Okay. Now, imagine a straight li this is a straight line of one unbroken piece. Now your fingers are going to make an X with that. Reach past and pull those through. Goes in the same direction. Your fingers make an X. Grab the opposing knuckles and pull that through. You may also notice that what you're doing is making eyes and passing them through to each other, eh, through each other. But if you do it without the without the finger hold, you see that gets worryingly short. It's easy to pull that through. Another thing to watch out for is you should not do a handcuff knot. That looks like this. It has this extra little cross right there. This is bad because while it appears stronger right now, it is very easy for this to capsize in such a way, like that, where pulling on this pulls that loop out, and it will the, it will draw from the standing end. That is what you do not want. Okay, so one last time, start like normal. I see that this side is going away from me, that is going to go around these two fingers, not between them, just around both of them as though they were one object. Yep. Something you can see. Opposite like that. There's an N there. There. X. Cross. Now, this is also, with the finger hold, a very easy knot to practice. Got it? Good. Just rapid fire against itself. 
Now when the knot is finished, you'll notice a complete bar over everything. And if you flip the knot over, a complete bar over everything with the loop and working end emerging from the tip. Okay. Simple. Hey, end of the video spot. So, here's me hoping that you want to see more knot tying videos like this. If you want to, to see how to tie a more secure version of this knot, click here. If you want to see how to do my funny shoelacing, click here. This is assuming that all the links go through and you live in the future. Maybe there's an alternative method of tying shoe laces. Doing these up, maybe there's a spine right there. Maybe I didn't just film all of these in one night. But regardless, you can click right here and find your way to a different way of tying, or I keep saying tying, lacing shoes. And if you're extra nice, maybe you want to keep me doing this kind of stuff quite a lot. You should, in that case, like or subscribe or what have you, because and just, those kinds of things increase my ranking in search results and increases my visibility, getting me more viewers. It's a really low effort way of helping out. And if you want cool implements like these, with the arrows going the other way, I really like this pattern, that do cool stuff like that, maybe consider buying one from my shop wherever links are to be had. YouTube is changed a couple of times over the past years, a few years. For those of you with really long memory, links used to be over there. <laughs> uh, um, we appreciate any small contribution, even if it's just watching this video all the way through. Thanks.